Welcome back to Indian Trace. This is going to be a little bit different than the rest. It is a museum series. It is from the site that I call W Properties. I mean, uh, it's producing some serious and awesome artifacts. So we're going to take a look at them, but uh, the reason I say it's different is because very select, and as you can see around here, very select and unique different stuff has come off this site. You know, I'm really seeing that my sites are unique personalities uh, and people groups. Now, granted, there was a shout out to me as you see some of this. We're going to get some close-ups, but I'm just giving you the overview right now with some layouts. And uh, as I had a shout out, it's true. Eons of time probably exist between many of these pieces. And that's the coolest part of it all. And we're going to get some close-ups. I mean, there's some great tools here, just some fantastic pieces. Uh, and they're all off one land area I call W Properties, or right next door to it. Uh, look at this piece. Of course, I had this piece hafted, this Guilford. And uh, shout-outs to Mike, who restores these things with excellence. Let's just get this thing seen. Now, remember, these points here, let me see if I can set this down. That's an atlatl dart are uh, from W Properties, one particular site as I've been doing these, sort of a museum series here in eastern North Carolina, and just some really great comments about it. What I like to do is, is see, and I hadn't seen before, this is the first time I've ever seen all the stuff I really just grabbed and held on to from W Properties. Unbelievable. Well, I'm excited to get a close-up on these and to give you guys a, a close-up. Let's look at this first. Mike's work, if you want a, a point restored or hafted. I mean, this this is... Uh, take a look at this if I can get my focus going and try not to mess around with your eyes too much. This is a great Guilford point. Fantastic piece. You can see where they had relieved this point for hafting. It probably went a little bit deeper, but Mike said he wanted to show off the point. Uh, you can see where they had that there. They might have hafted it deeper because it really just would have made it stronger. But we're just showing this point off. Uh, just fantastic stuff. Let's see if I can get this better. Hang on. Just to show you some of the... Look at that. I mean to tell you. That's an awesome point, isn't it? just the way they would have been ready to go with it. And what do I mean ready to go? Well, look at this. Point. Going right down this. Still going. And hafting. I sent him the turkey feathers to do this. I would recommend anybody that really wants to be inspired by a point that they can spare to do it. Foreshortening. Good night. I don't think I can get the whole thing in there. Definitely an atlatl dart. Fantastic work. Do it, you know, do it. Now let me set that aside. And take a look at these just going around in the circle and not waiting any. Uh, fantastic scraper from this area in black flint. Really interesting thing about this scraper is it was found relatively close. Now this is no proof that they came from similar people or similar era, but it came from relatively close to where this point's from. Incredible thing about it, and I will show you. It's just very similar flint, and you don't find a whole lot of it around North Carolina. Now when I put them right next to each other, you can tell it's definitely different. Different hue, different stock of rock, but a similar type of flint. Don't find a lot around here. Now let's get around here. Just a fantastic scraper. They made it work. Neat thing about this is the, context, the cortex is right on the back. It didn't matter to them. They worked that thing right around the outside. And I guarantee they took care of some small game hides with that, you know. Scraping the tallow off of them. I think this is almost the smallest point that I've found at W Properties. Check this piece out. My guess is that is possibly a little woodland point or a little Mississippian point. Doesn't matter. It's an ancient Indian arrowhead. It's a sweet piece. Uh, one of the first pieces I found there to really dignify the site. Look at this piece. Flat out unique rhyolite. It has a, 
it has a vein of quartz that's going through it. I don't know if I can do it any justice or the light even passes through it. There is a vein there. You can see it. Super unique. Uh, out here, this is not broken. It is patinaed the exact same way, and they probably just went with it, worked that way. I'm touching a lot of these points just to give you the texture of them and show you them. Look at that point, will you? And look at that vein. The stuff you find at W Properties. It's unique. It's not the volume. Now, of course, I found 10 times this much there. It's not the volume that you find uh, in some of my other sites, but uh, it's enough, you know. And it's such a private site. It's right on one of my, my buddy's uh, houses. I mean, he lives right there, so he doesn't mind. And that's always a good arrangement, isn't it? Look at this red piece. Far over two inches. Nice. Nice flint color. Such different texture in the rocks that I'm pulling off of uh, W Properties when I see them all together. This is a great piece. A little bit wider. It's thin though. Here's another one of the first pieces I found there. Don't really think it's a drill, everybody. I really think this is an atlatl dart tip. It's not broken at all. It's beveled off this back and it's, um, let me just see if I can show you it. It's a unique point. Just the way they wanted it, it would have been a killer. A killer dart tip. I had that on a on a video series, uh, serrated tips. Man, my time's getting away with me. Let's go right around this circle and enjoy this stuff. Fantastic point. As always, some of this stuff has been seen when I found it, but uh, here together from one particular land site, and it's not real huge, uh, I found these. And it's good to see them all together. It gives me courage when things aren't going so good there to remember the points that I pulled right out of the land there. Exactly the way they wanted to make that point right there. Look at these in the middle. I'm going to do the group and hold it for a second. Of course, arrowhead. Arrowhead. Possible arrowhead with the transition of styles that I'm sure they pulled up influence from styles in the past. Probably a couple dart tips right here. Archaic. Just really putting it out there. I mean, look at this piece. does me good to see them all together. Of course, we saw this. I won't take too much time, but some people out there just absolutely love this clear quartz. Like a diamond, right? I don't know if it's coming in. That's why I'm taking a little time on that. All right, very first, I can almost say the very first tip I found out there was this that Lattle Dart, and uh, at that point, I didn't really even know what it was. It's a fantastic piece, though. W Properties, this is really translucent, this one. So I really just kept a hold of it. I mean, you could see my fingers through it. Like glass, right? It's a type of glass, I guess you could call it. Nice pieces, though. You got to keep that when it's so clear. You know, it might be a little bit of a field point, but that's all right. This is pinkish. You can see the color in it. Great material from W Properties. And great points. Great artifacts. Uh, this one, I forgot. This is a unique, unique little dart point. Look at this. Oh, I wonder if I could show you this, because I like this. This is really different. They just worked every square inch of this thing. It is smooth, as you can imagine. Would have done what it needed to, right? All right, a couple more. Look at this duel found in the... Approximately the same place. Don't know if I pronounce it right. Hera hey. uh, But these are, are awesome. Of course they're old. Fantastic pieces though. Old 
the artifacts. Can you believe it? So, as you can see, William's property is definitely worth going back and checking it out when it's putting this kind of stuff out of the ground. I mean, look at those things, will you? Something special. And then just recently, I was flipping out on film. I think a lot of people saw it. I see a lot of people watch the video, but there was this. After the beans had been sitting there for months, this had been in the stark naked open. It wasn't even in the ground. It was just sitting there. It had been rained and cleaned off. I had missed it like four times. I mean, didn't even walk in that sort of area. That is a smoker. Look at the size of it, just to give you perspective and off film. Right on. Craziness. Now in North Carolina here, eastern North Carolina, I don't find the big points like they do. You guys do out in Missouri or whatever. It just doesn't happen. Once in a while you get blessed and find a big one like this. This is uh, G10. Well, I don't know if they might rate them for balance. And of course you can see it's not perfectly balanced. But it is absolutely perfect the way they wanted to make it. It's the other point any way you wanted to cut it. My mercy. Anyway... That's enough, and uh, that is W Properties, and I just wanted to give you a good show of it. Man, I guess I'm going to go back there. It's not ready right now. There's a lot of other sites ready, and I'm going to get out there. But as I do a flyby here, thank you for tuning in to Indian Trace. What we're looking at, of course, is Indian Trace. It's the last available evidence of these... North American Indians of their civilization, everything else is gone. Of course, no written history, but everything else is gone. Just doing a flyover. Give you a perspective of what this one site provides. And as always, I just want to thank you for tuning in to Indian Trace. Get a good setup before I go. And that right there, that's Indian Trace.